Good evening, guys. Good evening. Welcome to the DraftKings DFS NBA segment for uh, January 21st, 2019. I'll go by Invisible DFS. Let's jump to segment one and check the guys for the night before. As far as the players did for the night before, um, the total was 193 for the five guys. Just seven points, uh, well, 6.25 to the 200. And uh, the total of that team, one of the team that I had was 279. I had one with 280 something. Basically, that team cash, uh, uh, barely cash, but it cash. So that was good. But uh, on Trezo, he had 2450. Uh, the thing is, he started the game, I think he has like nine fantasy points in the first three minutes, then get like three quick fouls. That basically hurt him the rest of the way. Uh, everybody else was okay, of course. Uh, Nicholas, more like Nicola, Nicholas uh, Batum, uh, uh, 4.5 return. That was bad. Um, man, this guy, man, I knew it, but I had to take that chance. So 279. So if whoever your three guys was guy, if somehow you can average. When, if those guys give you 100, you'll have about the 293, which you cash. Even the 279, depending on where you play it, most likely will minimum cash. So uh, tomorrow is a big day as far as uh, NBA. There's some big uh, stuff out there, especially on uh, actually uh, on uh, FD. They got some. Uh, uh, they have their slate, men's slate. Starting at 3 o'clock to, uh, yes, yeah, starting at 3 p.m. I was thinking of making a video for uh, FD, but I'm so tired right now. I'm not sure if I will be able to do that, but if I can get to it, I will try. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump to segment two and see uh, the five players that I have for you guys for DraftKing Men's Slate, which I believe start at 6 or 7. I'm not sure, but uh, it's only four games for DraftKings. They basically have the uh, early slate and then they have the main slate, which is for game. They still have a uh, $10, 300k in there for you guys. So they have basically two slates and both of them is over 200k. All right, let's go ahead and check out those five guys. Anyway, guys, before I check the five guys, I hope uh, you guys did good. I was disappointed to see... Uh, no end Glenn make it to the uh, Super Bowl, but hey, you know, you can never count Brady, I guess, but I just hope, uh, I just hope they lose. That's basically it. Anyway, uh, Gobert, uh, 8.5K, like that twice. 2.1K difference between the two sides. Siemens, uh, I like Siemens uh, tomorrow, even though he's at 10K, and actually I love him in FD, even at that price. And 8.6k in ZK, that's a little bit different because you know of the slate, there's only four games, so that make a big difference. Now, cage on 7.9k, love that price, he's been good, but he's going against Gobert. So, uh, and Gobert usually good against those kind of centers, it's athletic centers that give him problems. White size 6k, that's definitely the guy I want to take a fly on. And Embed, I love Embed, but right now, I just don't know if he will be a starter. Yeah, because he's a uh, have a Q tag, questionable tag. So let's hope he plays. But that's one guy I love in any site, in both sites or anywhere else that you guys play. So let's go ahead and jump to the K website so I can give you guys my five core, three, three core players, my five players, three core players, one chip, and of course the star of the segment. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, guys. The first guy I have for you guys is the Boogeyman. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and play Cousins because basically there is no minute restrictions on him. So Cousins is the guy that I'm playing. All right, and uh, the second guy I'm going to go with uh, cousin basically he only play 15 minutes and still give you 30. So let's hope he can play 25 minutes. You never know. This guy could go up if he played 20 to 25 minutes. And he fall out in 15 minutes. Uh, 
the second guy I'm going to go for is on the same game, which is hot. Right now, ball is out for four to six weeks. So, uh, hot, um, I wish he was cheaper, but of course, you know, they know the nose, so they put his price high. So, uh, but I'm going to play him because he should be playing a lot. Uh, so, uh, call KCP, let's see. Cardwell Pop is not a guy you guys can play, but Ball is my guy, and uh, they uh, should play a lot of minutes and should be in, most likely in the starting lineup. And as far as my third guy, I'm going with O'Neal. For right now, I'm going with O'Neal, but if there's a change that, uh, let's check you, uh, if there's a change that Rubio is back, I will change him, and of course, I will make sure I let you guys know before the 6 o'clock. Uh, slate start if we get the news before that so but for right now O'Neal will be my third call and my chip I'm going back to the latest game and I'm gonna go with Lance Lance Stevenson will be my chip guy at 4k Lance should see a lot of minutes now as the main reserve guard because uh, they basically don't have nobody else so Lance should see a lot of minutes uh, you, I, as you can see the last game is pretty good with limited minutes so and I'm hoping it's made to go a little bit more in the 20s now so at 4k Lens will return some good values and if it's a blowout Lens should probably still see some minutes in the blowout and as far as my star guys I'm going with Joel Embiid as of right now that's who I'm going to go with but if he's not starting of course I'm going to change it and uh, most likely I will change it to Arden but or cement, you gotta love cement too. If MB doesn't play, I will change it to cement. That will make it even easier to put both cement and Harden on that lineup. If you guys wanna do that, because right now if you put Harden, you'll have a 2.6k left, which you can still go ahead and do. But sometimes you don't have don't have too many of those guys in the lineup that could kill your lineup. But uh, so if MB is out. Siemens will be the guy that I put in there. And another guy, of course, if Embed is out, once we get on the uh, chip list, we will see. So those are my five players, guys. Let's go ahead and jump on the chip list. Chip on the chip list so you guys can see what I have in there for you guys. So I have Zubak, uh, 4.5k. Uh, if study is a must. So that's another guy. If he's starting, I could replace O'Neill with him. So we'll, hopefully we can get the news as early as possible. Brown, very inconsistent, but can get there. This guy can give you 40, even 50, but he's very inconsistent, both his minutes and his uh, playing right now. Uh, Joe Green uh, should play over 25 minutes and has been getting the 20s, high 20s in fantasy points. Um, Johnson, he uh, has been average over 26 minutes in the last two games. That's Tyler Johnson, that is. Where is 4.2k? I had over 30 minutes in the last game. And uh, hey, so far, he got 21 minutes last game. And he was complaining about not getting any minutes. Hopefully, this is just the beginning of him getting back to get in the 20s in minutes. Lens, we ball out. Lens is, is in play. Uh, I'll talk about him in uh, the last segment. Our class could be sneaky play here because he was playing really good before he get before he got hurt so hopefully he can get back to where he was and Chandler that that Chandler from Philly is in play even a better play if Embiid is out both Embiid and Butler could be missing that game or one of them so if one of them is in that game the other one is a good play too so those are the cheapest guys I wish you guys the best uh, I went a little bit faster than usual uh, good luck guys sign make sure you guys if you guys haven't uh, subscribe subscribe and uh, turn on your notification so if there's anything I need to add or I need to post so I can go ahead and come uh, post it on uh, the channel so if your notification on so you guys can uh, get it right away all right so wish you guys it good in NFL uh, basically I was even in NFL in NBA you know I, want, I don't want I'm tired of some of those even days. I need more than just that. So good luck, guys, and I'm out.